Черт пошел ты, блядь. Так долго. Ребят, no room. No room. We gotta jack the car higher. And we gotta move, uh, move this away. Seals inside. Got it pulled out. Lens, a regular wide lens. Wide lens? Yeah. Number 25. It's fine. With the showering. Shiny spot. Mm -hmm. That's what it writes. This is silicone, I think. Ceramic extreme silicone. Bury it. Put it in the bag. Put it in I'm supposed to snap in. Mm -hmm. I'm popped out. If you rotate it, then pin. Rotate it. Can I just collect all these tools? Yeah. Yeah. Подожди, на я. Tap with hammer. Get me a two by four to hold it straight. It's in. Nice. 
this whole thing. This whole kind of we just swing. And shorter a little bit. I know, but you gotta line up. To the threads? Yep, you gotta get it. Let's see. There you go, buckle. See, coming out. Can't put the nut on it. Not yet, you gotta assemble everything. Not you can put it in the end. Okay, move out of the way. I gotta start connecting stuff. You got five minutes for rinsers. Okay, where is all the nuts? In here. Huh? Bring me right over to Grissom's toolbox. Which right gr grease? Huh? Which one? In the top toolbox. No. Oh. Uh, for the brakes? Yeah, and the bullet. It's not for brakes. Brakes to будешь. Потом ставить. Будешь для брейкс то сырамик пользоваться. Я сейчас трэдс все смотрю. Why you gotta put the threads? You supposed to grease that? Yeah. So I'm gonna get loose? Yeah, so next time if you gotta take it apart. Где над? Put the camera away. Here's another CV join. Replacement today on the front. This is the front and this is the dog. Shall we come? Shall we get out? Get out. Go. Go over there. So front and Lexus S250. It's very easy to change. Better than the back. One joint right here. It's like a swivel. It's like a like a ball joint, swivel one. Then you got a tie rod on this side. You don't have to take no brakes, no um, that sensor for ABS. You don't have to disconnect it. Pretty much everything. It just swivels out. So one and two. And the whole thing just moves on the side, and you, of course, you unscrew the big nut for a splice shaft of CV joint. So the new one already we put on right here. The only problem was pain in the ass; it didn't want to come out. That snapper ring was so tight. So when you pull it so hard, what it did is uh, just old one fall apart like this boot came out and everything else but the old one shot anyway there was a little liquid coming out from the gearbox so after we do the other side maybe tomorrow we change the other side CV join CV axle whatever you want to call and then we're gonna open the gearbox and flush the oil in differential but the front is much easier than back back it's like a disaster and the back usually goes first on those cars. So, and good idea, use a impact gun, to make it easier. So you don't have to fight with that thing. So 
CV axle front passenger side right biggest pain in the ass because he has this stupid bearing so that's the last one left for this uh, IS 250 2006 replaced already three and that's the last one and it looks like major pain in the ass as the old one came out so the problem is with this design he has that transfer bearing in there the one also in the back and it's very hard to get that out especially because it's rust and it's been sitting for a while so it took me like 30 minutes yesterday just to take that snapper ring around the bearing and that snapper ring become completely deformed because it was stuck so now I got a hammer gun, air hammer gun, real nice one, a lot of good reviews, so I'm gonna have to try it, that's upper, upper ball joint, that was nightmare, because what happened is, the nut, it made it for a pins, so it has like a little slots. So what happened then that nut completely got stripped on the outside. So I had to use a vice grips and heat up like hell. And lucky I got it out. So we got new nut already from the dealership. Right here. A new pin. That's your new pin right here too. So I got this tool and that's supposed to help us knock that thing out. I don't want to go buy a cheap one because you're going to end up keeping it. So they said, very good review, heavy duty. So I'm going to install one of those cheesers and and pack it outside the part of the old axle which is this green cup this green cup I'm gonna have to uh, hit it from behind and hopefully that bearing in the back it's gonna start moving so that's the job it needs to be done So here's the update, that stupid error tool, what I bought, and it's supposed to be heavy duty, it didn't work. What actually worked, this come alone strap. So in order to get it right, you have to drill a hole in the exo cup. That's what I did, I drill a hole in the exo cup. I put this camo on, tie them up to the uh, strut support, bottom part, make it straight as possible, see, piece of shit coming out, it's about, I would say two and a half hours, I've been fighting with this thing, so this is, this is a lifesaver, of course it's screw up, it's all bent and it's broke, but at least it did the job. And, uh, and here's your stupid half an axle. It just came out. What a pain in the ass. Major pain in the ass. And you have to use a lot of, lots of, lots of heat. You gotta use a torque. 
once you torch once you get all this housing real hot then that stupid bearing move let's see how this bearings it's original from factory so I'm gonna clean this house and maybe stick the new one in and I'm still waiting for a snapper ring around the bearing but this gotta come out because this piece has to go back in so I have to work on this to remove this piece yep so it's a lot of work sometimes better off just bring it to mechanic because more like it you're not gonna be able to get this one out major pain in the ass at least I got it done I'm just gonna clean up and reassemble everything back